What's good YouTube, Gino Red here, and today I got a case unboxing for you from one of my favorite companies. Now, as a side note, off the gate, this is not a sponsored video. This is something I bought myself because I like their cases. And as you can see on the box, we have a case by Totally. And just like a previous video of mine, we're just gonna jump straight into it. Went a little beast mode on there for no reason. But hey, it is what it is. This is what you're greeted to in the box. This is a nice touch. You guys can look over that if you want. Nothing on the back. I would say it's a nice little presentation. Can't complain about that. And we got our case protected in this sealed pouch which you can reseal. It's pretty cool. So what do we have here? We have what we call a peach flamingo. And as you can see, it's a very thin style case. We have a nice plastic material, if you can consider it plastic. And we have our iPhone 13 Pro. Now, with these cases, Totally does provide some instructions specialized in these thin cases so that we don't ruin them. But as you can see, it is thin, so we don't want to ruin those. So we're going to go through and follow the instructions. So what we have here, so we want to start with the top left edge of the case. So we want to snap to the right side of the case there. Then we want to go to the bottom right. And there we are. Got the case on. Gold and pink and pink flamingo. Check this one out. It is nice and thin. I thought it was going to be just a little brighter than this. I guess when we hit the sunlight, it's going to be a nice bright pink, but I dig it. So there's your cutouts, as you can see here. The holes line up for the speaker and the microphone. Got your power button here. You got your volume buttons and your mute switch. I'm gonna remute that. And of course, we got our camera cutout. Our raisivity on this comes very close but it's still going to keep your lens from hitting the surface of wherever you are if it's even if it's something that's uneven well we don't want to take those chances so this for me would be more of an everyday in the house type of case just to keep scratches from accumulating on the sides of the stainless steel and on the back not meant to be a protective case but something stylish, something that, you know, you just want to have to keep nice and thin. Oh, before we get out of here, we have instructions to take this off. Remember, the instructions are to keep the case itself from being damaged. So what we want to do is flip our phone around the opposite corner of where your volume buttons are. And we want to start peeling from this side. And then the next corner that's next to it and then slide it out. And that ladies and gentlemen is our peach flamingo case by totally fix my sh All right, child. One more thing I want to check before we get up out of here. Will MagSafe work with this case? So I have my MagSafe puck here. We have a case there. And I felt a little vibration as I was picking up the phone. Seems like it's a go. As you can see, it's stuck to the phone. As far as the strength of the MagSafe, just a little good shake will make it fall off. And just to give you guys the visual of the MagSafe charging itself, It is a go.
And as I said, I was going to keep this short and sweet. Shout out totally. Love their cases. Can't wait for their Dot Matrix limited edition to be released. That was my favorite case from last year when I had my 12 Pro Max. And I hope to see it this year. Thank you guys for watching another video. And I'll see you next time. Peace and have a damn good one.